Hey folks, so um, if you've been waiting for the next big Linux Mint update, I've got some pretty exciting news for you. The Linux Mint 22.2 beta is almost here. And I mean like really close. Here's the scoop. Before any stable release comes out, the Mint team always does a round of internal testing. And just last week, a Linux Mint 22.2 Cinnamon Edition ISO showed up on their ISO tracker. That's the tool they use to make sure everything's working before the public gets their hands on it. Now the first image, yeah, it, it got uh, rejected, totally normal. If they find major bugs, they scrap it and try again. Fast forward to August 6th, the rest, boom, a new ISO appears. This one is being tested right now. And here's the thing, ISOs don't just land on that tracker for fun. When they're up there, it's usually a sign that a public beta is coming very, very soon. Of course, if this one fails testing, they'll spin up another image, rinse and repeat until it's perfect, but I've got a good feeling this one might make it through. Once it's approved, that's the version we will be able to download from the Linux Mint website, flash onto a USB, boot up, and see all the shiny new stuff for ourselves. So, what's new in Linux Mint 22.2? It's still built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, but it's getting the latest HWE updates for better hardware support. We're getting a fresh version of the Cinnamon desktop, always a highlight for Mint users. There's a brand new fingerprint app with login support, which is super handy. A modernized default theme that gives things a cleaner, updated look and better integration with modern Advaita app. So everything feels more consistent if you're running GTK apps. Basically, it's shaping up to be a very polished update. If we go by past release patterns, the public beta could be here in, say, a week or so. After that, we're looking at about three to four weeks of public testing, enough time for the community to report bugs, devs to fix them, and make sure no new problems sneak in. So yeah, Linux Mint 20 Kali 2.2 beta is uh, right around the corner, and if you're a Mint fan, you might want to start clearing a little space on your USB stick. I'll be covering all the new features in detail once it drops, so stay tuned.